today's video I am going to be decorating this tree but not with just any baubles I'm going to be making my own baubles like this one here and I'm going to show you how to do it and I'm going to show you a couple of other different options as well so let's crack on and I hope you enjoy what I'm about to do. So first off I am going to take a polystyrene bauble which I bought online. I will show you or link in the description where I got this from um, and then I'm going to take a length of small ribbon so I think this is three millimeter enough to make a loop and stick into the bauble like so. Cut that off And then I'm going to grab my bauble. I'm going to take my, pop that in there. I'm going to take my ribbon, form it into a loop at the bottom here. And then I am going to take a cocktail stick here. And these particular ones have a flat amount, a flat bit of the top so I am just going to use my cocktail stick to put a hole in so yes yeah, so I'll go back to putting this in the hole here and you might want to make sure that you pull the stick out quite quickly so that you don't then pull up the ribbon with it so we'll just put a little bit more in and then that should then stay put but I want to make sure that it stay put so I'm just putting a tiny bit of super glue on obviously if you have children I wouldn't recommend them playing around with super glue but what I would suggest <laughs> is that you use some maybe some PVA glue that should do just as good a job it just might take a little while longer to set so there's a few drops on there of super glue should hold that and try not to stick my fingers to it and there we go so there we have one bauble that is ready to be decorated all right so there we go that's set now and what I'm going to use next I'm not actually going to use glue but I'm going to use some hairspray other brands are available other than Elnet but this one works quite well and I have then got a little tray full of glitter here so I'm just going to spray this off screen because I don't want to get this all over my camera but I'm sure you can hear the effects and then I'm going to dip it in here and it will actually stick as you see here and I'm going to start popping some over where it's still wet and it sticks so you don't actually need glue you might want to get a nicer smelling um hairspray than Elnet because that's quite strong and it's gassing me out and there we go I'm just going to spray on a little bit more where maybe I didn't get it before and put some more spray goes on so you can do this obviously with any color glitter that you like spread on a little bit more on the bottom it's a bit difficult to keep it still <laughs> when you do spray on more it can kick it out a little bit well there we have it so I just give it a little tap or a little ping of the ribbon a little bounce and there we have it and that looks much better 
than the other little pack I got of baubles, which I now can't find. There we are on the floor. So if you look against the glitter ones in here, this one is much more sparkly. So I am going to repeat this process now, but I'm going to use some rose, rose gold glitter. Um, and I'm going to hang this to dry on my little light up here, and I'm gonna make some more. gold and that's just because the glittery bits are bigger than they are in the rose gold although the rose gold is a beautiful color um, but I think I actually prefer the silver so the next baubles we're going to make is a bit of a cheat so I actually bought these online um, and they're a little screw top ones I think I got them from Amazon um, in the Black Friday sales and I think they're about six pounds for six so I got them in a little pack and you can add letters to the front of them personalize them um, this one is for my sister I'm making her three so it will say gin four and then this one is gonna say cat because her name is Catherine so I am now gonna take off these little letters or take these little letters that I've got and carefully place them on here so it's a bit tricky but I am going to use my trusted tweezers to help take them off um, and then place them on here <music> So there we have it, nice and simple, gin for cat. Now obviously you can put whatever you like in these little screw top baubles, you can put vodka, you can put gin, you can put sweets, you can put nuts, pretty much any little things that you can think of really. And they just make a nice little addition to a Christmas tree if you want to hang them, or you could try and wrap them as well. So that's another idea then for baubles. And then we are coming on to the last one next. So next up, we are going to take just a normal plain matte bauble and we are gonna do some writing on it. These are really popular, but what I'm gonna do first is take my pencil and I'm going to map out what I want to put first. So I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to write the word joy and hopefully not mess it up. There we go. I'm not sure if that is picking up on the camera or not. And then I'm going to take my Graph Master pen. So this is just a water-based metallic colour pen. This one is in silver, and I'm just gonna trace over where I put my word. Ooh. 
and then if you want to make it a bit more like it's calligraphy all you do is just double up on the la on the down lines so J would go down so do this part of the O this part of the Y just make it slightly thicker and then the outside And then if we wanted to, we could carry on adding extra on it. So I would take very lightly and just do, so you can see here we've got joy now. I am going to draw some little snowflakes and hopefully not mess it up. So this would probably be better with a finer nibbed pen, but I don't have one at the moment. So I'm just going to make these lines a little bit longer. carry on with that so there we have it three simple ideas for a bauble you'll notice on this one as well if during the big snowflakes i popped little drops of snow as well i made them more clustered at the top and then just bring them down slightly and space them out a little bit more so it looks more like it's snow so yes, three really simple ideas for baubles, which you can do yourself. I have done some other ones here, whilst I uh, got a bit earlier when I was trying out some different colored pens. So I've got an R for Rocco, our dog. I've got a K for me, and I believe it or not, this is supposed to be pink, but it's kind of gone orange. Um, and then we have in here, that is coming out we have an M for Matt which is my husband so there we go I am really happy with the results and now I'm going to decorate my tree with a few little extras <music> If you've got any comments at all, whether you thought it was fun, whether you thought it was good, whether you thought it was bad, please just leave them in the uh, comments below, that would be great. And if you could consider subscribing to my channel, it would mean the world to me because it really does help support my channel and it also does help me know what kind of videos you like. I will be back with some other crafty type Christmas videos soon. Um, obviously we've got the run up to Christmas day and I'll be vlogging every single day. Tomorrow I'm very excited about what I'm going to be showing you, but I'll leave that till then. Bye.